I am really slow this week. Hello my lovelies, I made a video last night, but it's so long and rambly that I thought I would just make a new one this morning. I am doing a review on Malice by John Gwynn. I know I'm horrible with this camera still. I really liked it, I gave it a four out of five stars. I know that if I hadn't started reading it while I was in a reading slump, I probably would have gotten done really fast. But instead I read it the first half in two weeks and then left it for a month and finished the last half in a week. I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of world building in it. A lot of. Where am I from? Is that a Canadian accent? Please tell me because that was horrible. Anywho, let's use all the words that I really enjoy right now. This book was really good. There's a lot of world building in it and it kind of going through the prophecy of this book and building up for being a really good book in book two. This is gonna be a trilogy. Third book is not out yet. I believe it's scheduled for 2016 sometime. So I mean like, let's all hold our breath. And there are giants and weird animals and some lovely human animal relations that not like sexual, just really cute kind of like bonding. I really did enjoy this book. My favorite character would be Corbin. And you start out before he's old enough to go on to like the warriors. And so from, you go from right before he goes on to learning how to be a warrior to him having his long night and becoming a warrior. That's kind of the length of time that happens in this book. I would like to tell you who I didn't like the most, but I think if I said that you would know some things about this book. The character I feel the wor the sorriest about is, I have to look at his name again, Veritas. I feel like he is in this little world where he believes a lot and I think he is going to be so disappointed at some point of the choices he made. And maybe that's a little bit spoilerish. If it is, I'm sorry. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be like, well, why is your favorite, your most hated character, not Evanis. That's how I'm gonna say his name today, Evanis. And I'm gonna say the reason why I don't hate him is because from day one, you knew he was bad, evil, you know, not to be trusted. So at no point did you think, oh, this guy got is gonna get better. No, he's bad, he starts out bad, he ends bad. He goes through the whole book being obviously bad. So you know that you shouldn't trust him and all that jazz. My biggest character that I don't like is Nathar. Read the book, you'll find out why. <laughs> I can't give you any details because it will very obviously ruin things. I would suggest to read this book. It's really what good if you enjoyed Game of Thrones and how it goes from character to character to character to character all the time, you will enjoy this book. I always was sad when Corbin's chapters were over, if it was from his point of view or somebody in his little like group. I think he was my favorite character and area because there was different kingdoms in this as well. So I would say pick up Malice by John Gwynn when you're in a really big mood for a complex book. Don't pick it up if you're not really in the mood to read but it is really good and when you're excited to do a join a new epic fantasy book this is a good one to pick up. And I'll be picking up Valor fairly soon, maybe next month. I'll put it maybe in my April TBR. I hope you guys are all doing really well and I'm gonna go edit this and put this up immediately because I'm late and I'm sorry. And I love you guys and comment down below if you have any book suggestions I should pick up. Like this video if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see my face weekly. It should be every Sunday, but you know, obviously this week, I failed at that. Have a great week and I'll see you next Sunday. Love, love.